Hi guys, this is Spartan765. Today I'm responding to a comment on one of my videos regarding PTR-91 rifles and bolt gap issues. Okay, let's go over something first. I purchased this PTR-91 roughly six months ago. This is the new model, the model. If you got an older PTR-91, yeah, it's going to have bolt problems. And the ones that will have bolt problems, a general, easier way to distinguish if you have a rifle that's going to have bolt problems or bolt gap problems is the receiver. Does it say PTR-91 Incorporated or JLD Enterprises? If it says JLD Enterprises on it, it's an older one, and that's probably one of the ones that has bolt gap problem, more than likely. Now, first of all, I'm going to go off saying here, this rifle, I have fired about 3,000 rounds through it. Um, I have, and that is only using, I only use one type of ammo on this rifle here because it's my target rifle, um, and that is American Eagle Full Metal Jacket 150 grain bullet, made by American Eagle 308 Winchester. Um, that's the only ammo I fire through it. I can get perfect groupings with it if you guys want to know know more about that. I don't have a scope for it yet, but I can get 15 centimeters to 200 meters of it, so I'm entirely pleased with that ammunition. I'm sure I could get better with match grade. Keep in mind, 15 centimeters is about that much at 200 meters with iron sights. That is pretty good. So, um, okay, bolt gap. We're going to explain what bolt gap is. It's kind of like headspace, except not really. Inside your bolt, it's on the point. There's this little thing, there's this little gap in between the bolt itself and the bolt carrier. That gap is called your bolt gap. Now, H and K specifications require a, I think it's 0 0.01 millimeter bolt gap. So a hundredth of a millimeter is their minimum bolt gap. That means if it's any less than that, it needs to be replaced. Um, I don't know what the starting bolt gap is, but I did monitor that from the time I purchased the rifle, firing about I don't know, somewhere around two, three thousand rounds. I haven't counted exactly through the rifle. I have not seen any, any visible decrease in the bolt gap. You know, the rollers have not worn down the turnion at all. Very little, if at all. I mean, I stuck, pulled the bolt back, stuck my finger in there, and I. It's very smooth where the rollers are on the turnion, but I have cannot feel any ridges or anything like that where the bolt gap would have decreased. Um, that was only with the older rifles, and what caused that is right here. Now as you can clearly see right here this is where like on the Spanish set maze, set maze don't have this because they're not as good. Um, if that's just because they weren't welded right here. Well there are more reasons they're not good anyway. Well not the actual Spanish ones, the century ones anywhere shit. Um, okay now right here there's a weld and what this does is this helps this weld isn't actually required for the rifle operation it's just something to reinforce. Um, but this weld right here is what helps hold the receiver, which is this here and this here. Underneath this piece of steel is what's called the barrel turnion. The barrel turnion is what holds the barrel to the receiver. Now, the barrel turnion is held on by three ways. Well, two ways. One are these tack welds right here. I don't want to call them tack welds, more spot welds. Right here, here and there's a weld going on down here. That's not really holding the barrel together, that's just holding the receiver together. Or holding the, that's just holding the receiver together because the receiver came apart, comes apart there when it was made. Okay, this pin here is to hold the barrel inside the barrel turnion. Okay, now the next part is right here, this is weld. Reinforcing weld to hold this together. Now, when they started out, they didn't have the steel tempered right. Or it wasn't, it was heated. It got heated, the weld heated the steel up too much which softened it. And right about here is where the um, roller is underneath here, inside the barrel turning. That heated that up so it softened the steel, which, you know, uh, the rollers and the turning are hardened. I don't want to say hardened. I think they're hardened. I don't exactly know what, they're, what they are. But um, it softened the steel enough where it would wear it. It would wear it out. But they fixed this problem after having many customer complaints, so there's no more problem. Barrel fluting is another problem I've heard of. My PTR-91 has no problem. I've never had a fail to eject, fail to fire, never had fail anything with it. Works perfect. Um, nothing ever went wrong with it for me. It worked perfect for me. If you guys got any comments or questions, sorry about the short video, send me a message. I'll answer any technical questions you got. Spartan 7.5 out.